a wet and windy welcome to day three of the budget forklift tour of the Great South Coast. 95% of them are whinging and <laughs> and trying to avoid thinking about it, but uh, there's that crazy 5% who, um, who thrive on this sort of stuff and can't wait to get out there and get into those crosswinds. <laughs> Making sure the tyre pressures are right. Uh, especially being in a sort of fairly sort of tight circuit, a couple of slippery corners and stuff. Under torrents of rain and frosty winds, our peloton took on the 40 km stage 5 around a challenging street criterium in Port Ferry. An early break looked to have made its mark, but the chasing bunch worked tirelessly to pull them back. You just got to ride the front really in these uh, dangerous criteriums with you know slippery corners and you stay out of trouble and uh, you know get the boys up for a few sprints now um, and yeah we've got to now the sort of GC's sort of sorted out a bit more we've got to just watch our main competitors and uh, make sure they don't slip up the road but then this afternoon is a whole other story it's just uh, I think it's going to be a race of survival in the crosswinds and the small narrow roads so again just position and, uh, and strength. <laughs> Over the closing laps, despite the late charge by Luke Davidson of Budget Forklifts, Gordon McCauley of Draypack Professional Cycling took the stage. Uh, <laughs> that was good. That was good. Nice to uh, repay the team. They put a lot of trust in me, bringing me over as a guest rider. So thanks to Michael Draypack and to Ergo from the team for bringing me over. It's nice to be able to get something back. I love this sort of weather. It's great. Wash for more this hour. With conditions failing to improve and concerns for rider safety, the afternoon's road race, stage six from Port Ferry to Hawksdale, was cancelled, leaving no change to the overnight GC, with the budget forklift's overall yellow leaders jersey remaining with Darren Lapthorne of Draypack Professional Cycling, out of Anthony Giacoppo of Genesis Wealth Advisors, and Neil Vanderplue of Search to Retain. Let's leave the final say to Jaco Honeyshots, Jordan Kirby. It's pretty sunny here in Port Ferry and um, yeah, they decided to cancel the race. Um, so we're just going to go and do five or six hours now. 